Hi, I'm Sherry. Hey, I'm Matt. And this, this is, is Beers with Engineers. <laughs> <laughs>So what I brought today, this is an Atlanta local. Uh, it's made by uh, Scofflaw Brewing yeah, here in Atlanta on the west side. A uh, little fun fact about them, the brewmaster is from Russian River, so near you, Sharon, out in California. Nice. He moved to Atlanta to start his own brewery. I brought this one. Very which nice. Which is a Japanese beer. Um, I really like it. It's the closest to my favorite beer that I could get to. I couldn't find my favorite beer here. And a good old Guinness Stout. Very good. Good combination. So your favorite beer, is it from the DR? Or it's it? from the DR, yes. It's Presidente, which is like a lager and uh, no, a Pilsner style. Uh, very light, very, just like this one, very crisp. Oh my god, that's not even getting started on that. <laughs> I mean, it's if the background doesn't give it away. Yeah. I don't know. Like, uh, <laughs> do I have to pick? I, it's actually it's funny. I like both because uh, Sharon, as you know, I was in consulting for years, so I think I, I like anything that moves, like any cars, trains, you know, planes. But obviously, I have to. I have to pick. I personally have to pick trains because. They are the coolest mode of transportation. <laughs> I haven't been in many trains at all, so I'll have to go with planes. They're faster, although yeah. more terrifying. I have a lot of anxiety when I go in planes. I don't really like them. I prefer trains, but for efficient, but you know, getting there faster and such, I'll do planes. <laughs> Ooh, good engineering question. Raspberry Pi. I have to get Raspberry Pi too. I, uh, I will say, like, I've, part of it's exposure. Like, I have, like, four pies, and I use them a lot in home automation. I've, like, had a couple projects I wanted to try to use Arduino for. I just, part of it was I had Raspberry Pis on hand already, and part of it was just, like, I could do what I needed to with the pie. Same, same. In college, we did a couple Arduino projects, but then I was gifted some Raspberry Pis, and I enjoyed them. They were more accessible to me, so. Well, okay, so <laughs> I feel like I'm, I feel baited, kind of. I, I feel personally targeted on this because, as you know, Sharon, I have both a BRZ and a BRX STI. Think about this because it may affect our relationship, whether or not you, according this, to your response. Uh, this is a tough one. Uh, man. I'm gonna go Subaru WRX. I'll go with you, Sharon. Uh, Woo, okay, I can continue yeah. to talk to you. I, I need to qualify. You know what? I need to qualify my answer though. So I'll go to WRX STI for like it covers like most of my use cases. But you and I have talked about this. It's not as good on the track as the BRZ. Mm -hmm. Like it, it is faster, but like all-wheel drive is not as fun. And uh, you know, be able to like throw the back out and do skids and have a good time in BRZ. Like you can't do that in the WRX, but. Give me my profession digital, but I must say there's nothing like good old paper and pen. Like I, there's some things that I just must do on paper. Um, but for the rest of everything else, I'm digital. Yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna go physical, um, but like in the context of, I guess, hobbies. I don't know because I think it all depends on like what we're talking about, right? But like, I don't know. Like my weekend projects, I've, I like recently with all of the free time we have on our weekends now, and the fact that we never leave home, I kind of took inventory of like my projects I was doing, and like what I was doing after work, and obviously like working for Nutanix, like we love digital stuff. But like all my projects have been like wrenching out my cars or like building model trains or like building furniture and stuff. So, yeah. So I, mean, I, I agree there with you. I guess um, when it comes to things outside of work, I tend to go more on like the away from digital things. So like dancing or doing arts and crafts or something like that.
Okay, so I guess, yeah, I'll take the opportunity to plug Nutanix Test Drive and Test Drive Live. Uh, so you'll be able to get hands on with Nutanix products and solutions all via Nutanix Test Drive online. So check it out. Google, take a Nutanix Test Drive today. Check out the URL at the bottom of the screen. And uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, and remember to wear your mask and stay safe out there. Feel free to like and subscribe as well. Bye.